Hello Dragon Hello YouTube. <laughs> Terrible start. Hello YouTube. This is Dragonheart and welcome to my YouTube channel and welcome to the Carthaginian campaign. Here we are on the campaign map. And if you remember from the last episode, we took Syracus from Syracus. They're still alive, they still have three ships around this island here, around Sicily. But it's looking good, we've taken this province and we also have taken the province way over here. Kartuba and our oh, men are currently nice replenishing here here. but we are losing a lot of people minus 11 that's not good at all uh, I need to do something about that I can't rec I don't, don't want to raise force I want to click on my general can I I can't recruit anybody it's, it's terrible news for me let's go back over here so yes, basically, for you guys who are new to my channel, I'm a Welshman, I play Total War games. I have a couple of Total War series going on at the moment on my channel. I'm a bit of a noob, I do make mistakes, but sometimes that's life, that's the way things go. But I try my best, and that's all you can ask for. Uh, I need to improve here. Let's check our diplomacy for a second. Catch up where we are. It's been a few days since I last recorded part of this. So everybody hates us by the looks of things. Right, Nova Carthago, like us, trade with us. And they're my client state. The same with Libya. The Etruscans. They are still alive. The Etruscans, yeah, they're still alive. The Etruscan League still got some provinces. Which I should probably try and get an alliance with them. Who are they? They're only at war with Rome. Definitely need something with them. A flapping tongue that's Rome's going to take over them, I think. Welcome. But we got trade Be with like them. A spear and and an aggression pact. Can we, can we become allies? Where's that to? Defensive alliance? Uh, military alliance? Nope, they don't want that. It's fair enough. It would have been good. But anyway, they're keeping Rome busy at the moment, and that's the important thing. I don't want to get involved in a war with Rome this early in the campaign. Etani, they're unfriendly with us. Could we trade with Rome, I wonder? Do not waste time on pleasantries and babble. Speak what you uh, must and be done. I wonder if I offer to join the war. It's a bit daft, I know, but I don't want to be beaten up by the Rome. What's the other... Uh, Is that war one gone? Take that one out from there. I don't want to go to war with Epirus. What about the Etruscans though? Will they accept that? No. I would have gone to war with the Etruscans because the Etruscans are too far away to cause me any problems. We got the Etani here who are unfriendly. Who's, who's at war with us? That's what we want to know, don't we? So Rome hates us the most, I think. Do they hate us the most? Minus, minus 109. Oh, Syracuse are at war. They, they're the only nation at war with us, I think. Is that right? Uh, yeah, only Syracuse. There's quite a few nations we can tr yeah, trade with, but for some reason, in this campaign, Carthage is so weak in the early phase of this game because everybody hates them so much. Uh, I think it's been unfair to be honest with you. Like Carthage is doing okay, we've got a nice green smiley face there and we have got no negative things but Lilibium and Syracuse not doing too great. But we'll end turn here and we'll see what happens in this end turn phase but we did take Syracuse but I imagine their armies now are going to try and take Lilibium because Lilibium is quite weak. And it's the perfect spot for them to attack. But we'll have to wait and see what happens in this campaign. Oh, and Sparta have just taken a province from Epirus, I think. So, well done, Sparta. Here we go. Oh, it's Etruscan. Where are they going? Where are the Etruscans going? Are they fleeing? I think they're fleeing from Rome. Oh, I hate the length of these end turn phases. It's one of these days I'm going to actually get a timer and time how long it takes to get through these these uh, end turns because they do take quite a, lot, a while. Especially in my Carthage campaign because I think with Carthage so much of the land is, so much of the map is already seen. 
because you're in the Mediterranean that you actually see a lot of the moves like you can see now with Libya sailing across the coast but they whereas in my personal IC me campaign it's just the British Isles so I only see movement in the British Isles so it's slightly quicker not not a great deal but just a little bit probably 30 seconds or so Nova Cathago I would absolutely hate it if they broke their alliance with me I don't think you can if you're a client state I'm not sure I'm not sure if they can or not something I have to be wary of keep them as my allies and try and hit targets together over there and here we go I expected this I expected this alright uh, we outnumber them but they've got a lot of troops I could auto resolve this just think I will let's see 46 remaining 48 48 and a go in the aggressive stance close victory most of them are dead I think the majority of them I'm going to enslave the captives I didn't fancy fighting that because in my latest Parthia campaign I will resolve this as well I didn't auto resolve when I had the odds in my favour and unfortunately decisive victory will enslave again. Unfortunately I should have auto I should have auto resolved, I didn't, and the AI had the better of me in the actual battle. Even though I they outnumbered me as well, but it isn't my own fault. Oh household expands, that's great. Uh, I can't be asked to read all of these. They don't mean bugger all anyway. We'll just ignore that. Syracuse is still alive, but they, they have got nothing that can attack me now, really. And they're going to suffer attrition as well in these coasts. They can't really attack most of my provinces. i got a ship over here. Probably, probably need to do more. I'm losing food badly. I need to do something to get my food back. Carthage is going well. Got a plus green. I can actually build stuff in Carthage, but I'd rather build in the provinces that need them at the moment. So, Syracuse can't build anything here. Unfortunately, it's probably the same here, I imagine. Oh, Lilby, I like me quite a bit now, actually, which is quite good. Syracus, Corrales, starting to go down. I can actually build something in Corrales. I can. Wealth, public orders, what I want the most, really. And then let's check our western provinces in Iberia. So, Cartadash. I've got a green face at the moment, but I am losing. I've got slums, I have to dismantle this. Cost 500. I won't do it yet, but I will be getting to the slums. Oh, this cartoon is really bad. Let's check the details. How long for a. Oh, crap. Four turns. Right. Uh, cultural differences, taxes. We'll take taxes off for the moment. We're going to be losing a bit of money, unfortunately. Uh, can I build anything? I don't think I can build anything. Oh, crap. Crap, that's not good at all. It's only minus three now. Can I re can I recruit? At your command. Can't even recruit. I could hire mercenaries, but I'm going to take such a hit on my. <sighs> that's next turn. I got this this turn though, haven't I? Yeah, I could probably. We fight for you, I could my Probably Lord. hire a mercenary. What's the cheapest one going? Two eighty-two. What's the upkeep? Two forty. Okay, and what about these guys? Oh crap, that's a lot. But I'm just going to go with the Iberian Slingers. I don't take too much of a hit. Minus two, that's helped out slightly. Okay, so a little bit of management on the campaign map is in order, but that's a little bit better. I do have enough money to get rid of the slums in Carter Dash, which is what I'm going to do. Dismantle the slums, because they are negative for your population, so that will help there. I have 642 still left to spend. I gotta think of what the best thing to go for. Syracuse is probably. But Syracuse is uh, dealt with now. They can't do much to me. I have all of this under my ownership. Under my. Uh, all of this, really. Come to think of it. Libya, my, my client state, in blue. So is Nova Carthago. So I've got southern Spain parts of Italy here and here and North Africa. I'm looking really good actually, come to think of it. 
I could actually wage war on the Etruscans and take this, but I might be pushing it a bit too far. I'd like to take a landlocked country such as Iberia. So I'm thinking one of these tribes up here now. The Cantabri have quite a lot here and here. However, Celtici, I think Celtici could be the way to go. So let's have a look at this part of the map. Do I have a spy nearby? Ready for Don't battle. think I do have a spy here. But the Celtici, who are they actually uh, allied with? Because they are definitely somebody who... They have the Lusitani and the slaves. So the Lusitani, straight away, we don't actually know where the Lusitani are. Ah, oh, I wish I could... That's the Lusitani, isn't it? There. If I can get a spy up there... So I have two spies. This spy now. They can they can uh, sail across the ocean. So will he go this far? He will go this far actually. How far can he go? That's as far as he can go. That's fine. So my spy Jezebel is in the ocean now. She's gonna make her way over there for me. Syracus have nothing that can worry me now. Which is great. Rome do have things which can worry me. That's why I have this large army here. We fight Ooh, for you, which can actually be Lord. upgraded. General force. What can I have? Defense would be interesting. Set ball, suicide carpet, brimstone pits, barricade. Yeah, I think we'll go with the defensive options. Might prove handy in this campaign. Ah, the Etruscans. Oh, I feel sorry for the Etruscans. They're not doing well at the moment, are they? They have... A Roman. Well, it looks Roman, but it's actually Etruscan. Don't know what that's all about, but it's a Roman shield. But they have that province, and I think they have something up here somewhere as well. Or they did, at least. I don't think they might have now. The Etruscans are fighting a losing battle, and I'm afraid uh, that's not going to get much better for them. I need to hold on to these provinces as best I can. That's why I need to consolidate here. I can actually raise a force and cart a dash, which is probably going to be a wise decision. So we have Barikos. I'm going to go with him because he's my family member. Raise army. Yes, have the elephant. How can I serve Carthage? Sinhalis. Sinhalis. Get into Carthage. Just broke down the negativity of the province slightly. And can I recruit anybody? I can actually get a mob unit, so <laughs> we'll recruit the mob unit for now. What's the upkeep on the mob unit? Ten. Okay, we can get... I think we'll get a couple of them, actually. Just to fill up. I'll just throw them away in the, when I get into a battle. And I think that'll do for this turn, so we'll end turn again. And we'll see if anything... Ooh. This character has an assigned skill, Harmatis. Where is Harmatis? Uh, let's give up my... I'd rather do it this way. There he is. Projectors of... At your command! Uh, here we go. Uh, warrior, commander... I'll go with the strategist. Okay, we'll enter. So it's going well so far, I think. Oh, what's this? While we have appreciated oh, your support, bugger. Rome must now look to its own defences and to nothing else. Don't like the look of this. They've ended the non-aggression pact with me. Now that can mean one of two things. It can mean that they are going to invade us and try to crush us. Or it could be that it's automatically been ended. I think I think non-aggression packs, I think they have a certain turn limit. I think it's like 10 turns or 20 turns. I'm not quite sure how it works, to be honest. But I think it's something like that. I hope it is, because I don't want them to invade me and whoop my ass. Because I do have... I think I have five provinces and... Or settlements, I should say. Five settlements. And I think three of them are practically undefended. So I'm quite an easy target for Rome. I mean, I, really, I, should, I could attack them now. I could just take Hannibal and go, you know what? Syracuse is not going to cause me any issues now. I'm just going to go straight for Rome, wage war, get on the good side of the Etruscans and try to save them. But, 
I mean, I, I could wage war on the Etruscans right now and take Alia, which wouldn't be a bad idea, really, when you come to think about it. It's one less province, one less region for Rome. That's actually a province I need for Sardinia and Corsica, the province of that province. So I have to wait and see. I mean, if I can get Libya and Nova Carthago at war as well with Rome, if they join me in that battle, in that war, then at least I have two allies nearby. It's whether they're willing to help attack the Romans or not, get involved in the actual war. I need my spy to investigate Lusitani. I want to try and get on the Lusitani's good side by offering to go to war and get trade with them perhaps, or an alliance of some sort, or a non-aggressive pack even. Oh, here comes Syracuse again, and are they going to fight me again? It looks like they're mounting a final last stand. I don't really see the point in showing this battle. They have bugger all in the... Oh, no, I will fight this battle, actually. Even though it's uh, it's going to be one-way traffic most of the way. Mind you, I only have I mainly have slingers in this in this Carthaginian army. I don't actually have an awful lot apart from slingers and three units of uh, is it spearmen? I think spearmen units. The heirs of Phoenicia, Hannibal's great army. Since I got Hannibal involved in this campaign, I think it's starting to turn in my favour. I think, I hope. Uh, some of you might know from one of my vlogs before, I did mention that Hannibal is actually my favourite general in history. I love the Punic Wars, especially the second Punic Wars, the one he fought, actually fought in. Oh, yeah, I do have Carthaginian hoplites. I have more units than I thought, actually. Oh, some of these are garrison units, of course. Uh, where are they attacking from? They're attacking from the sea by the looks of it. Um, these mob units. Where's my capture point? Blah. We just keep them in the capture point. For me. Do they have any special abilities? Don't think they do. Well, they can just stay there to help defend. My slingers. I have lots and lots and lots of slingers. Which I'm going to put... I want I need them to go there, don't I? So I'm gonna put them here and they can march out and meet them on the shore there. Hoplites, 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 I think it's hoplites that said this. They pronounced it. To go behind and Hannibal on the wing here. We'll start the battle. This isn't actually going to be much of a battle, but you know. Our defenses are strong. Enemy reinforcements approaching. Enemy reinforcements are actually behind us. My ships can meet them though. Can slow them down. Which is why I intend to do what sort of ships are they? Two small ones and a big one. 17 men in that ship. 24 and 14. We have 15 and 15 so... We're just going to weaken them. They're not enough men to cause us any problems. And they have more men coming in over here. As you can see, coming into the battle now as reinforcements. They could actually get behind me with that force. My mob units probably won't be able to do too much. So what I'll do there, I'm going to take two units of hoplites, form their own group, and they can go out and try to meet them in battle. Keep. The gods are with us. An entire unit has perished. So my ship's gone. Don't mind that, really. Bring these five units up of Hoplites. This one can come back as a kind of defensive unit for the men that's going to stand here. Our men flee the field Turn of off. battle. This is a shame. I've lost my ships. Don't mind that at the moment. But what are they doing with these ships? What is the AI doing? Oh, they're coming this way. I have to ploy it here and they're coming here. Okay, that's fair enough. They're going to dock around this area, I think. 
bring my javelin men around. Bring this unit of uh, hoplites more central. Trying to work out where they can actually attack me at the moment. Let's form phalanx. They have 23 men and they have 21. We're forming the phalanx now. Oh, bugger. I didn't know they had. I didn't realise they actually had. Stingers. I was expecting them to charge me. <laughs> My mistake, I should have been paying more attention. Doesn't matter. The Hoplites are going to run into them now. I still have this defensive unit of Hoplites as well. And there we are, they're forming now this, this famous phalanx formation. And they're running into me, they're charging me. The Slingers are actually charging me. And they're going to be defeated, surely. And it looks like this unit is going to help, going to charge in as well to help them out. But I imagine it will be in vain. And this should be simple enough. So their ships are docking over here. So where are my main unit of hoplites? Here they are. We're going to reform uh, along here. My javelin men. They're in a pretty good position. The ships are coming here, obviously. My general Hannibal can come back into the city. These units are dealt with them now, I think. At least they will be. Phalanx, please. This unit can help out. They can actually go and attack the javelin over there. I want quick reload and I want flaming shot. Not quite in range. What are they doing? I'm taking a few hits actually. A couple more ships are going to come around, that's fine. I want to get my javelin man in range. Could get on the beach, I think. Oh, that's terrible. I can't get in range. Try and get them forward. I don't think I can get actually get them from here. Doesn't appear to be able to reach from here. It doesn't matter, I'm giving them an easy victory if I carry on here. Let's bring them back into the city. Where the main fight is. Let's charge the javelin men and let's get these men back into the city. These javelin men don't stand an absolute chance. I don't know what these two units are doing over here. They're going to charge my phalanx, are they? Let's turn them around. And we are in phalanx already. These are archer units. Here we go, into the archer units. What? They don't want to fight me. They're just running away from me, look at that. Where's Hannibal? Uh, Hannibal's nearby. Oh, Blight's over there. At least I think Hannibal's nearby. Where's he gone? There he is. Time for him to get involved. Bring these hoplites around here to stop them there. Did we deal with all of them? I think we did. Yep, they're cheating. They dealt with them. These guys come up as well. I'm closing off all the routes for them at the moment. Bring my javelin men forward. Just making sure there's no way in the city for them. They only have these two ships and those two ships left. I don't think they know really what they want to do. Let's bring all these units around now. 
we're just going to box them in to the coast. We're going to do a 300 and try and push them into the, well, in 300 they push them off the cliff, we're going to push them into the ocean we are. All my units are there. Ready to meet them. Let's bring these guys back. So here we go now. Phalanx. 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 I think it's going to be in Phalanx now. To counteract. Counteract all of this. Some of them are going to charge me here. Let's see them charge me. Don't stand a chance, surely. They'll just charge me here. I'm going to push them back. We'll murder them. And that will, in fact, be the end of them. Down to 19. Should be an easy win for my Libyan hoplites. Same thing's happening over here on this side. Get a bit of end zoom action. The hoplites are getting butchered by mine. Oops, why didn't you... What have I done? Just moved a unit, I think. An accident. I can't even tell which unit it was. Doesn't matter though. Now let's get these spears in to help them out. Hoplites. Hop Hoplites, I should say. Getting it wrong again. Let's get these hoplites in. These three are going to actually come here. I think that's probably where they're going to disembark. So I'm going to be cruel. Put rapid advance on. Got three along there. I'm going to put three along there. Rapid advance. We have 27 against 12. Plus, Hannibal's going to charge him in the rear. My mob units have done nothing all battle except stay there. That's because they crap. Hannibal's going to make a nice charge now. Oh, what are they doing? They're just firing from the ships. I have no ships to actually attack them from. They're playing, they're playing this quite well, actually, because they know they can't win. So they can just stay there and keep firing at me, and I can't do anything about it. Let's bring them back. Bring them back again. I don't want to just throw units away. I have got my jab, they meant I can actually hit them from here. So bring them forward. Uh, Hannibal's done well. Hannibal can take a nice rest for the Bring my other units of Hoplites up. I have lots and lots of javelin men, so they can prove their worth by taking some of these guys out. Form two separate groups. For the javelin men, first group can take out that ship, second group for that ship. Mob units can't do nothing, none of these units can do anything actually. Just get my hoplites into formation in case they do come off the ships. My javelin men will soon be in range. Go on flaming shot already, just get quick reload on. Here we go, they're wavering now, and that should be it. That's right, that's what I want. Get all those arrows on there. Fire arrows, doing damage. Ooh, taking them all out. Look at that. They don't stand a chance. Be great if the ship sank, actually. It's on smoke. I'm gonna end the battle there, though. Decisive victory. Only lost 160. We actually lost more men than them, funny enough. That's probably more down to me being a bit of a noob and not looking after my units well enough, throw my hoplites towards them, not realising, thinking they were going to embark 
on my shows, but we decided not to. If I didn't do that, I probably would have lost a lot less than what I did in fact lose. The battle was 11 minutes to yeah, Nice to have a nice long battle. Well, I wouldn't say long, but as in traditional Total War games, but longer than usual. Nice to see that. Usually most battles are over in about 3 minutes. So it's nice to get one that goes over 10 minutes. Oh, oh no. What's happened to Hannibal? Is he gone? He was alive in that battle. Uh, Magnoid, uh, we go with Barakos. I'm a bit concerned now. Slums in Corrales. Oh, God. Is Hannibal dead? I'm a bit worried. Hannibal's dead, he must be. I've had no message to tell me he's dead, that's the worst thing. Oh god, I can't believe that. Hannibal's dead. So we have slums in Corrales. I have lots of slums in Corrales actually. Let's get rid of that. I haven't got enough to get rid of this, I don't think. Nope. Get rid of one of the slums and that will be that. So we've defeated uh, Cyrocus. They still have a ship left, but that's not going to cause me any trouble. Um, we're looking to expand, and I'm looking to get my spy, wherever he's gone. Where's my spy gone? There he is. I'm looking to get my spy over to Iberia. How far into Iberia can we go? Uh, but they will do for now. We're going to get him toward Lusitani. See how things go in the battle over here. I want to try and take Ebora next. That's going to be my next... Uh, idea for this campaign because what I'm trying to look at if we go to this map here I'm going to try and take as much of Spain as I can to build up a nice army a nice kind of province and eventually I will go for Rome but I'm going to end the episode there I've been Dragonheart until next time goodbye